Right, so hello everybody. Uh, this is a tutorial for my secret cauldron entrance. I made this uh, a few weeks ago and it's really quite cool. So, as you just saw there, you just pop in the cauldron, a trapdoor closes on you, and you get transported through the corner. Now, the unfortunate thing here is that uh, this has to be built in a corner, but it's not that big of a deal. And yeah, you can also send the cauldron through so you don't have just a missing cauldron on the other side of the wall. Then you can store anything you like in here and then just recall the cauldron. And yeah. So this is going to be a tutorial for that. Now what you're gonna need for this build is a 4x6x4 area and these materials. This is all the redstone because the blue and orange wool can be uh, just the same block but I'm gonna be using two different blocks. Then some random blocks for your walls and uh, floor, cauldron and some sort of trapdoor. So we're going to be starting out by placing a sticky piston on here, remove that block and then two other sticky pistons here, grab the cauldron, place it there. Now we're going to be making the, uh, some people might uh, Recognize this, this is the bottom half of a flush 2x1 piston door. So now we're just going to be making a slightly modified version of that. So just redstone dust there, block, two tick repeater, redstone dust there, and block there. And actually interesting, as you can see, this piston isn't actually getting powered, except this redstone dust here, if it's set to the cross, it powers this block, which uh, bud powers this piston. So that saves a little bit of space. So that's basically it. And now we're just going to be making the activation for this. What you want to do is, this is your input block. We're going to be placing a button. Then a block here. Redstone dust right there. And then I'm gonna put some temporary blocks, a sticky piston facing downwards, and an observer. Move the just uh, the unneeded blocks. Then place a block right where the uh, observer is. Then place a sticky piston facing sideways, redstone block, and then redstone dust. As you can see, now that's activated. What we have here is a falling edge T flip flop, which means that this button, when this button unpowers, then this uh, redstone block gets spat out and not at the start of the press. You can just see the T flip flop doing its thing and then the uh, cauldron moving away and then final thing is I'm gonna place a button here this is like uh, if we were to have some start of a room just gonna bring the cauldron back as I said this is gonna be in a corner unfortunately now so it's in a corner so then you send this through and this button is the input inside the corner. And then just from that, you can place a block here and a block here. And then a uh, one tick repeater there. Technically this repeater can be uh, any amount of ticks, but uh, I use one because it's just faster. And why would it? Why would you not want a faster door? Then you're just gonna 
and two trap doors on top of the cauldron on both sides and then you can make the uh, room seal like no floor and that should be all so now you can step in the cauldron uh, press the button and voila and why this you know, redstone the T flip well is falling falling edge is because then the trap door will close automatically which I quite like so yeah uh, yeah that's about it now of course uh, you would replace this block right here with stone bricks and possibly a hidden activation key the redstone torch key right here uh, so you don't just have a button but in that case you have to close the trap door yourself but yeah that's it in a short tutorial and then you can just have a room here yeah thanks for watching hope this helped and uh, see you next time